All right, boys, let's do it. It's going to be hot out of the gate. Don't blow up on the first climb to try to stay in that front group. me a while to get the fan view, but we are in. Looking good, Snowy. Paul, Neil. Good job, Scott. Good position, boys. Stay out of the wind. Looking good. Conserve everything you can on this climb. climb here then we're going to descend down pot bank get a, get a bit of a rest <coughs> uh, 
let's see here. Good size group still. I'm clicking back. Here we are. We got 58 in the front group. Rest, rest on this downhill. You can super tuck, but just watch at the bottom because it's going to kick up again. Don't, don't let yourself get gapped. So hit, hit the power again as soon as it, as soon as it levels out at the bottom. So maintain a good position. So you got another little, another climb coming up right here. Looking good though. I think we have all six of us in this front group. It's hard. Hard to pick everybody out. keeping the powder dry for the KOM that's for sure yeah big big gap behind so the uh, the chasers aren't coming back for sure the selection the first selection has been made okay be thinking if you've got power-ups where you're going to use them on this uh, this KOM. If you got a feather, I would recommend using it at the beginning because that's where it kicks up the steepest. You can you can maintain your momentum a little longer. If you don't use it there, then use it uh, use it after the little flat spot, kind of halfway through. Now I've got an arrow. Yeah. I'm picking up the top to close gaps if I need to. Yeah, arrow's good uh, at the very end where it flattens out or, or midway if you need to close a gap halfway. Same with the drafting van. Use it, use it where you're moving the fastest. Remember over the top, it's uh, you want to keep the power up and then get, get fast into the descent. So a power up, uh, triggering a power up just before that KOM banner might make sense to close gaps and have a group to sit in with on the descent. All right, descending down to the KOM start. Sit in and conserve, take a big breath, spin those legs out. This is where the next selection is gonna be made. Probably the, the biggest selection of the whole race. So be, be ready to go all in two and a half minutes or so. Go. Good, good fill, good position up near the front. Stay a few wheels back. It's a great spot. Scott, looking good. Dan P, looking good too. Nice. I'd say let that guy go. I wouldn't chase him. Guy up the front. Or actually, that might Flebian. Must be a lightweight. <laughs> yeah, let them go. Don't blow yourself up for for one rider. Here we go. Yeah, sit a sit a wheel back or so for now. 
let them let them be in the wind if you're if you're near the front guys great positioning okay second little kicker starting now nice Scott good use of that feather on this section uh, nice Scott and Neil going for it going for some extra points Neil, you're in the clear. You don't need to push it any harder unless you're going to pass a, a guy or two. Yeah, nice. A couple extra points there, Neil. Good push. All right, grab those wheels, Scott. Yeah, nice. Sit in and recover on this little on this descent. Who do we have behind here? All right, so we got a front group with, I think, three of us. Uh, Snowy's just behind and the next group back. Looks like Dan, Neil, and Scott, I think, are all in this. Yeah, nice. Nice work, guys. Three guys in the very front group. That's, that bodes very well for us for this, this sprint coming up. Snowy, I wouldn't push to close the gap, at least not yet, uh, since we got three three strong sprinters here. Let them uh, let them contest that sprint, and then, but yeah, certainly sit in, and if if the gap does close, no problem there. Foudre team has some uh, some strong riders coming in. We got another one off the front here. Okay, here we go. Uh, front group, get ready. Let's see what you got. Everyone in this group's getting extra points. Just a question of where you place. We'll get it, guys. Get it, boys. Dirt glory. Nice, Scott. Nice, Neil. I like those numbers. Mm, I think Neil took it. Looks like I, I think Neil got first on that. Let's see. It's not showing me any event data. It's not very helpful. Yeah, sit in now. It's gonna it's gonna come back together. Snowy's group, I think, is if, assuming Snowy's still in it, is uh, it's knocking on your guys' back door. So I would just sit in and take it easy. Got a whole nother lap. Yeah, Neil got best time. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's not showing it at all on my screen. I, I assume that's because I'm watching him, so it's not showing me my view or, or his view of the leaderboard. That's annoying. Yeah, we had a. I think it was Dan and Scott in that front group too. I don't know where you guys placed, but everybody was putting out some good numbers. So that's good. All right, I think. Nice. Scott's nice. It's like maybe. Snowy or Dan was eight. Great. All right, the group, uh, there's a group just behind. Yeah, Snowy's, let's see here. Me and Phil. 
or about 30 something position. Yeah, about 30, 30 or something. Maybe 10 seconds back. I can't tell because the leaderboard's just on. Yeah, the front two groups are coming together. Snowy's group of about four coming together. And I think you, you guys must be in the next group back from that. Yeah. Yeah, front, front group now has, yeah, 28 in it. It looks like Phil and Ian are in that second group. We'll keep at it, Phil, because we'll catch people on the second KLM for sure. Yeah, I'll do my best. Oh! All right, front group is almost through the finish line here. You guys can see how long this haul is here. That's why you don't want to don't want to go too early in the finish. So Ian and Phil, there are there are three SZ riders in your pack. Um, they've only got one rider in the group up ahead. So if they're if they're smart, they should be the ones doing the work right now. Okay, so, I'll stay out the front for sure. Yeah, something to think about. I think you, you guys putting in a lot of work probably isn't going to help you much. Because we've already we've got four guys up in the front group. Yeah, I'm happy to sit at the back. Yeah, I would I would just sit in it so that you can you know maybe well so you'll you'll be fresher on the KOMs and all that. But Eric, where are the point breaks in finishing position? Like uh, 25. Uh, or yeah, is it 30. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Let me look real quick. The, the front of our group's 29. Yeah, the front of your group is 29, but I'll, I'll look. Pick up, pick up some stragglers. You and I feel might be able to crack top 25. Exactly, yeah, that's we need to need to know what those points look like. Uh, 21 to 25 is one set, and then 26 to 30 is the next. It's only one point difference, though, from like 26 to 30 to 31 to 35. Each of those okay. is just one point. Okay. So, you know, probably not worth 
really trying to destroy. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's smarter to go get fresh and and maybe even uh maybe split the pack with a good effort on the KOM. Yeah. There's there's four dirt riders in this group, even though it's two different teams. <clears throat> Might be that some yeah. of you guys can can jump off together. All right, front pack, looking good. It's looking uh, looking like everyone's taking a breather, <laughs> for sure. Although I'm sure you don't feel that way. Take it as easy as you can. Hey, my heart rate's not settling today. Yeah. Deep breaths, spin those legs. Chase group is 24 seconds back. Make them do the work. Just based on the jerseys, it looks like there's four Kirchmer guys that made this front group. So that's great. We got the same same number as they do. Super good work. Vegan looks like vegans have four as well. So they're definitely good competition for us. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to make it to the comments time for hanging. You don't, you don't think you're going to hang on the KOM, you said? Nah, not unless it's a bit slower. Yeah. I reckon it'll be slower. It'll still be brutal, though. Yeah, it'll probably be slower. But if nothing else, just try it. The key if you get split is, to, is going to be to get with a group because it, probably there's going to be a chase group and it could very well come back together in the finish, Neil. And if, you, if we have you in the, in the front pack by the time we make that last right turn, that would be super good. So just try to find a group and get back to the front if you get dropped. The Vikings have three riders in the front group. And there's a team who's wearing a generic jersey that I, oh, you know, it's the, the Foudre team. They've got three as well. Oh, they've got four, assuming, assuming they're all wearing the right kit. Yeah. It, a team's become strong. They must be recruiting riders. Chase group is still 25 seconds back. Sterny, Kaj, and I got dropped here last time. Let's keep it together. Yep, last little climb here, then you can recover a bit on this descent.
Sit in those wheels, Scott. Man, who's attacking off the front? What the heck was that? Four super tuckers. We got a team vegan guy going for it. <laughs> All right. He ate his hummus today. I guess so, yeah. He ate his pea protein. Cover a little bit here. Who's the silly sod using an arrow power up right now? Amateurs! <laughs> Mr. Vegan's getting. Oh, he better start hammering. He's going to get dropped. <laughs> Vikings are going for it off the front. All three of them. They're coming back, though. All right, sit in. You got two and a half minutes or so. I'd say the vegans and uh, vegans, Kirchmer, and the blue jersey that's up near the front, which is Fabre, those are the three teams you need. We need to mark on this climb that we don't want to get away with. There's another another blue jersey for SZ that we don't need to worry about. Don't need to worry about the orange sow jersey. just in terms of who's in this front group. All right, last little bit, guys. Keep that position. If you're feeling strong, time it right and get some extra points over the top. Looking very good. <clears throat> nice work. A Viking guy is sprinting for it. Two Kirchmer guys are going for it. Push if you can. 
Neil, great work staying, staying in touch over the top. Act, see if we can grab that front group if you can. Should, should come back together here on this climb. Looks like Dan, Dan and Snowy are back a bit. Where is Snowy? Snowy's in the front group. Holy crap. Nice Hello, work. <laughs> All right, so we got we got one guy in the front pack, and then three seconds behind, we've got, I think, two of our guys, uh, Scott and Neil. So I would say, Snowy, try to, try to slow it down so we can get Neil in that, that sprint, if possible. Don't, don't... I'm done. I'm doing as well. Okay, yeah. So don't push the pace at all here, Snowy. Make them push it if they want to. What do we have here? Yeah, groups coming back together. Nice. All right, this is going to be a this is going to be a real contested sprint here. It's a it's a bigger pack. Got uh, about 21 in this front front pack, so got to finish in the upper 50% if you want bonus points. Power-ups going. Vegan's going off the front hard. Nice. Looks like we got at least two guys in the top five out of that. Snowy green. Strong sprint, Snowy. That was great. All right, it's gonna. I think it's gonna come back together unless that that little front pack keeps pushing. Do we have a? We got two Kirchmer guys on the front right now, but neither one of them's working. So don't worry about them. They're they're waiting for it to come back together. Yeah, they're not pushing it. tow us back to them. Nice boys. Okay, we got all four of us here in this front group. Great job. Are we going to try, is someone going to try a sacrificial lamb long attack? Or do we want to sit in and all, all go for the sprint? I don't think I can beat anybody in this sprint. Special finishing position. Better points. Yeah, so I would say... Everybody everybody rights to win, I reckon. All right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Snowy. Do what? Don't go long. Go, go for the best finishing position you can, which is really, it's going to be sitting in and then sprinting would be my guess. If you go long, you're going to blow up. 
and they'll just this whole pack will fly past you. That that would be my guess is what, is what would happen. This trouble so fuck. If you've got a feather, use it on this first section, but just use it to to ease your effort a little bit. I can drop myself talking. Fuck. Keep pushing snowy if you can. Get back in there. You'll pass a few guys. Okay, here's one guy going hard. Don't worry about him. He's going to blow up. Sit in those wheels. Try to get, try to be a few bikes from the front. Neil, try to push up a little if you can. All right, it's about that time. Push it, Neil. Push it, Scott. Guys, go, 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 go. Go, boys. Go. Nice, Neil. Yes, go, 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 go. Nice. Great work, guys. That was a lot of top placings in the intermediates and over the finish line. Completely stuff that up. Uh, <laughs> <sighs>